Okay, we are recording, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. How is everybody tonight? Are you good? Thumbs up, we're all good? Okay, let's see if I can get myself on this. Um, okay, there, I don't know, I don't like that big picture of me, but here I am, okay, so. I am Deb Hoffman. I'm so glad that all of you are on tonight. Um, I am nothing special. I have to tell you that, you know, I, I think that sometimes people think you get to a certain rank or certain things happen in your life and how did that happen and can I do that and what did she do? Did she have a magic potion or whatever? I didn't. I truly did not. Um, and tonight I'm not necessarily going to teach you anything um, because all of you know what to do and you really have great leaders and you know how to do it, what I'm gonna do is empower you to know that you can do it. I think that is the stumbling block for a lot of um, people, I say my age, our age, is that we um, have kind of lost sight of ourselves and we're not sure how to do this in a way that is effective for us, okay? So I'm going to tell you my story a little bit in case some of you don't know. hope I don't bore you if you've heard my story before. Um, so I am Deb Hoffman, Presidential Diamond. Mackenzie Schultz is my daughter, and she is an Ambassador Diamond. She went up through the company ranks very quickly. Um, but one thing in my claim to fame about this is that Mackenzie did not build me. Um, so many times when people you know, the younger girls enroll their moms or whoever, they place people under them and help them a lot. I was not that person, okay? So um, I am a nurse and have been for years and years. I will be 59 in just a few days, which is crazy for me to say that out loud, but it's true. Um, so I was 55 at the time, uh, 54 actually, when I enrolled, and I enrolled to be nice. Mackenzie enrolled in April 2013. She asked me in May if I would be a distributor, and I was like, well, I am not selling anything because I'm a nurse. I worked full-time at a very, very busy OBGYN office. We saw um, 40 patients a day approximately. I had no time even for lunch most of the time. I sat at my computer and I would eat my lunch. Um, so in April to, or May of 2013, she asked me if I would enroll and I said yes, $99. I go to Target for apples, come home, spend $99. You know how that goes and you forgot the apples that usually. So I said, sure, but I'm not selling anything. Um, but I got a box of wraps in that kit, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try them on my thighs. We actually own a fitness facility in an area around us. Um, my husband and I have worked out at the same fit fitness facility for, well, now we're on our 10th year. So I do kickboxing and resistance bands. So I have done and know that working out and um, taking care of yourself is so important. So I thought this was voodoo, honestly. I thought it was crazy voodoo, and I really didn't want to have any part of it other than I would support her. You know, that's what we do as moms, is we support them. So I said, you know what, I'll do that, but I'm not gonna do anything more than just maybe try those wraps. So I tried the wraps, and lo and behold, they worked. And two months later, so May 5th is when I enrolled, it was July 7th, actually my anniversary, we were in Mexico with some other friends, and I talked to this friend and said, do you, have you heard about these wraps? And she's like, yeah, I wanna be a distributor. I was like, what? That was so easy. I opened my mouth and told someone about something that I loved, and she said I'm, I want it too. And I all of a sudden I had that realization like, well maybe, maybe this could be a real thing. I'm just gonna talk to people when I get back. So I signed my first distributor from a hotel room in, in Mexico. I didn't have an e-suite on, because I told Mackenzie, I don't need an e-suite. What do I need that for? Um, so she turned it back on for me. It's, I signed up my distributor, and I, that was when you had three months only to go diamond and you could get that good bonus. So that would have been, for me, the end of August. And I was one distributor from getting diamond by the end of August. That's just crazy. That's like six or seven weeks. But I didn't even think about that. You know what I did was I just talked to people. And if they want to be a distributor, they did that. If they want to be a lower customer, they did that. I just had fun. And all I was doing was sharing 
the passion that I had for the products and for the opportunity because I could see what was happening for Mackenzie's life. And my husband and I have always, he owns his own business. I've always worked as a nurse. We've done fine. We're not wealthy, but we've always done fine. We've lived frugal, but I never thought of this that would ever make me money to quit the job that I was doing. Now, I also have to tell you that I was working at this office. We had computers that um, Facebook was banned on that computer. So we could use that as a, um, let me see if I can. No. Oh, let me see if I can mute that. Hold on. What? Mute all. Mute. Okay, hopefully got, got everybody muted there. Um, so I, Facebook was banned on our computer, so I could not do any kind of work at work, plus I never had time. I had my phone in the hip pocket of my scrub pants, and I would go into the bathroom, and I would ask, answer a message. And that's as much as I had. Like, as long as it took me to, to go potty, I would answer a message. So there was no time to word vomit. There was no time to do anything more than just say, hey, what? you know what? I will meet you tonight after I work. That's what it did. I just worked with intention. I just was excited about it. I didn't have any kind of a plan in my head. I just thought, I'm going, I'm just going to help people out. When you make this business about them, that's when you will start to really see success. It can't be about you. Even though in the long run, it really will be amazing for you. You've got to make it about them. Okay. Um, some things I have to tell you is that Mackenzie did not, as I said, she did not build me. She placed one distributor under me who was actually my son's mother-in-law. So it was a relative. That's the only person that I have placed under me. She put two loyal customers so she'd get her fast start. And those people both upgraded to be distributors on her team. So I had nobody starting from scratch. Just like all of you, I had nobody and I know that you can do it. That's the difference, okay? Is you have to have confidence in what you are and what you have to offer people. Um, and it truly was a role reversal for Mackenzie and I because I didn't feel like I could message her or call her and say, well, how do I you know, post this? Or how do I ask this? Or this person has this question. I just had to figure it out. I got to tell you, I was not a Facebooker. When I first started, I had just a few friends. Now I have 3,800 friends because I worked at it. I figured it out. I figured out how to get more Facebook friends. And people are going to say, how is that? You join groups. You know how to do that. What's your hobby? What's your love? What's uh, an illness that you have in your family? What's something that interests you? Google that. Facebook groups for hangnails. I don't know something, whatever it is that interests you, there's a Facebook group for that. Then you go on there and you probably all heard this, but make friends from there. Look through their Facebook profiles, click on that, ask them to be their friend, make a note about it. Hundreds list is so important. I work for my hundreds list every day and I make notes about that and I make more friends and more friends and more friends. And I have so many, um, distributors and loyal customers from just doing that. But you gotta make it personal. You can't make it about you, you gotta make it about them, okay? Um, I believed in myself, but Mackenzie believed in me. And if you right now don't believe in you, borrow it from me because I know that you can do this. I have so many people message me or daughters message me for their mom and they say, will you talk to my mom? And it, you know, she, I know she'd be so good at this business. Pam Souter said to me one day, Deb, we have got the golden egg. We have what everybody wants our age. If you talk to people, it is amazing to me how many people our age, 45 and up, need an extra $500 a month. Do y'all know that? Can you, can you un identify with that? And people will join you for the money because they see, oh, I could make an extra $500. But what they're going to stay for is for this friendships, this group that we have, this bond that we have, and the fact that we can lift each other up and we can help school each other and we can make our passion known to people, okay? You cannot have the poor me's. You cannot. I won't listen to the poor me's. I know that everybody can have a little bit of a meltdown. 
Like I had a little bit of a meltdown last the end of the month on Feb in February because something didn't go exactly as I wanted it to. And I had a, like about 20 seconds of crying. And then I was like, back to work. I've got lives to change. You've got lives to change. You've got to grasp that and know it and believe it. Um, another thing I never did, I didn't know what a Google Hangout was. I never, I just never was on my computer ever. Um, I did never heard of a Zoom or how you do that. None of that stuff. How did I do it? I learned it. So I am empowering you, and that's the word of the night tonight, is I am going to empower you to know that you can do this. You can't limp along. you got to figure it out. you got to pick yourself up and brush yourself off and say, I'm going to do this, and why. That gets me to my ear wise, okay? So when I started this business, I didn't have a why, why I was doing this. I was doing it to help Mackenzie. That's all I knew. I wasn't doing it anything more than just, I thought I was going to support her, being nice. And I can remember her saying to me, so I went diamond in, just in September. So I joined in May, didn't work until July, got to diamond in September of that year. And then by February of the following year, um, Mackenzie said to me, mom, what rank do you need to be at before you can quit your job? And I was like, quit my job? I'm not going to quit my job. I mean, I hadn't even thought of that. What do you mean, quit your job? And she's like, seriously, mom, what, what, what? And I, you know what? I remember sitting down and thinking, I've got some pretty amazing whys. And I want you all to write down what your whys are. And hopefully your enroller has asked you to do that. But I mean, seriously, think about what your whys are and how you're going to get the roadmap to get there. Okay? So if you're going to bake cookies, do you just think, well, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna bake cookies, but I don't even know how. I, I'm not gonna have a recipe. I don't have a roadmap. I don't know. No, you've got to have a recipe. You've got to follow through with that. It's the same thing with this. You have got to figure out how you're gonna get there. And what I knew was, I needed to wrap people. I needed to launch my new distributors. I needed to be as much support to them as I could because that's what's gonna make your team grow. Okay, doesn't mean spend hours and hours and hours training them. That means be there to support them, get them launched, get them moving on, but keep working your own business because you can. I know that you can. That's the confidence that I feel so many people are lacking. Um, and as moms, we've always done for everybody else. But right now, I want you to think about you're doing this for you because you really are. You really are doing this for you and your future. And you have an amazing opportunity. If you let it slip through your fingers, you're doing yourself a disservice because you can do this. Anybody can do this business. Um, you know, moms, as moms and wives or whatever, we always kind of have our place. We kind of think we know what we're supposed to do. And then when all of the house is empty and you have life changes go on, you think, I need something different. And you've got to rebrand yourself. You've got to figure out what your why is, and you've got to go after it. So um, several times throughout this journey, Mackenzie would say to me, Mom, you need to write down your goals and take a picture and put it on Facebook. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I can't do that. But every time I did it, and when it comes up on my time hop on my phone, it always reminds me, I'm so glad she made me do that. Because, for example, I said, I can remember this like it was – yesterday. It was the fall of the year that I had gone diamond and she said, write down what your goal is. And I said, I wrote triple diamond by June of that following year. And I remember writing it thinking that is not going to happen. It's so crazy. That is not going to happen. Guess what you guys, I went triple diamond in June of that year. I did it because I put it out there. I spoke it into existence and I knew I could do it because I knew the people on my team needed it too. It's gotta be about them and not about you. You cannot look us away from the fact that God put you in this spot. He brought you to this business for a reason and for a higher purpose. You've gotta follow that. You have to trust this journey, but you've gotta run with it like crazy. You do, you have to message, you have to follow up, you have to make new friends, you have to just 
feel that passion. I'll have friends, you know, on my team and message me and say, what would you say to this person? And I would just tell them, I'll tell them what I say. And they'll be like, you're so good at this. I'm like, I'm not good at this. It's what I feel. You need to feel that passion. You need to know and, and feel it and, and live it and breathe it. And then you share it that way. Okay. Um, didn't you have a goal when you got married or when you were young or whatever that you're going to have children or you're going to have a successful career or you're going to make an impact in your church or your community, but how did you get there? Cause you worked at it. You didn't give it up. You didn't, you didn't say, Oh, I wanted to teach Sunday school, but I never did it. You did it right. You did the things you want to do. You still can do that. You lose sight. Sometimes as you get a little bit older thinking, my goals, I can't, I can't achieve them. I'm getting too old. Nobody's going to want what I have. People trust us, you guys. You have to remember that, yes, because we're older, people trust us. And I have people tell me that, that join my team all the time. Like, there, I know a lot of other people, but I really trusted you, Deb, because I knew you wouldn't put your name behind something you didn't believe in. I know that you'll be here to help me. You guys do that. I know that so many of you are looking at just our age group to recruit. The young girls want you too. They do. That's what's going to keep you young. And that's, it's such an important factor is to have that circle of all ages. No one in my mind is exempt from this amazing opportunity. Nobody. Everybody deserves it. If they say no, they're saying no to themselves, not to you. Okay. Never get discouraged by that. All right, am I having any questions? I just want to make sure I'm not missing out. Um, no, no questions. Okay. Um, so think about why did you join? Why did you join? We, did you do it just to be nice too? Or did you do it because the money or the friendships? Do you have goals to have freedom of time? What's your goal? Did you write that down somewhere? Did you? I'm asking. Because you've got to. If you don't write it down, it's not going to happen. And I didn't write it down until Mackenzie told me to. And then every time I did, there it was. It happened. Um, it's not the blame game either or the poor me game. So I can tell you that after um, I went double diamond, I didn't even, I mean, I didn't even know what I was doing. But I went after work, still my black scrubs on. And I um, went to this team meeting that Mackenzie was having and she's, I didn't even know it. She's like, mom, come up here. And she handed me the microphone and she's like, just say some words about how you felt when you went double diamond, the excitement. Of I was like, talk on a microphone. This is not me at all. I can't, I like cried. I immediately started crying because it's so outside my comfort zone. And what I realized was, I could do it. It was this little book of confidence. That's what helped me. This little book of confidence. Be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. Did you hear me? To be yourself in a world that is constantly trying to make you something else is your greatest accomplishment. That's a huge thing, you guys. Personal development is so important. Every morning before my feet hit the ground, I say a prayer for my team. I say, God, please lead me well. Tell me what I'm supposed to do today. I get up and do my devotional after I go potty and get ready to go for my workout. You've got to have a roadmap for your day. You can't be scattered, okay? If you're still working full-time, which a lot of you I'm sure are, schedule time. Like I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I work for an hour before I go to work out. You've got to schedule it, okay, and work with intention. Um, somebody had asked me, too. One of the questions somebody did ask was, what about these live videos? Everybody's talking about doing live videos. How do I do a live video when I, I don't have anything interesting in my life? And I feel like, oh, my gosh, yes, you do. You totally, who wrote that book? Um, let me tell you. One second here. Let me find it. I don't know here. Oh, Tid, Tiddy, T-I-D-D-Y, Rowan, R-O-W-A-N. 
Tiddy Rowan. That's quite the name. Have confidence with that name. That's crazy. Okay. Um, the live videos. Yes, it does increase your um, exposure on Facebook, and it is hard to do it. The first time you do it, it's going to make you sweat and be, feel sick to your stomach, but it's amazing to do it because it really does increase um, your, your views. I did one um, probably six months ago. It was one of the first ones I did on my own feed. And it was, I did, is this real? It was a video I said, is this real? And I just talked about, people ask me all the time, is this real? And, and I tell them, yeah, it is. We just, I just kind of talked through my story. And I have gotten, I bet, 10 distributors from that, from going live. Because people would message me and say, hey, I saw your video, so can you talk to me more about that? You've got to expose yourself to things that, are outside your comfort zone completely. Um, another thing is, yeah, you maybe don't have small children. Do you have grandchildren? Do you have the neighbor's children? If they're doing something fun, they're, you know, get the, the bubbles out and have the grandkids or the neighbor kids come over and do bubbles. People love to see people's lives. Um, do a hot air balloon ride. Do, um, go to a rodeo. Do something that is fun and just tie five minutes of that on live will increase your exposure, okay? Um, so get yourself out there into fun events. Um, like even shopping. One of the girls on, not uh, she's on sideline team, but she was in a, an antique store today, and she went live, and she had hundreds and thousands of views of that. That exposure is so important. So maybe it doesn't seem interesting to you, but it's going to be interesting to somebody. Even if they don't get on live with you, they can go back and look at that. Get on. Promise yourself that this week, yet, you're going to do a live video because it will make a difference for sure. Plus, it will give you so much more confidence in yourself because you know you can do it. One thing I want you to be aware of, and then I'm going to let you go, but don't be distracted by what you think you can't do. Be motivated by what you can do. I want you to write down, again, I'm not going to give you like a whole long battery of lists of things to do, but write down your strengths in your life, what you think your strengths are, okay? One of mine is that I really, really care about people. I, I want to help every single person I touch. Um, so that was a strength for me. Focus on that. Don't focus on what you cannot do, okay? Don't be distracted by what you think you can't do. Because I say think you can't do because I'm pretty sure you probably can. But you think you can't. So don't be distracted by that. Focus and be motivated by what you know you can do. And write that down and put that on that roadmap, okay? So how many of you are going for diamond? How many are thinking that good, that go fast thing? Yeah. Won't that be amazing? $400 for 25 months would be amazing. So you look at this diamond chart and you're like, Ugh. <sighs> makes you feel like your throat's closing, doesn't it? Don't think about it like that. Really? Here you are. You're right here. And these little green boxes are three people. I need you to enroll three distributors two times. And what is that? That's your steps to success. That's all you have to do to get yourself to Diamond. And I mean that with everything I'm in saying. So there's three. You're the green, you've enrolled these three green boxes, okay? So the green box lady, she enrolls three because we're just going to teach her to do the same thing, right? That's all we're doing. So she's gonna, one, two, three. And this lady, this is the other gal that you enrolled, or guy, or whoever, she's gonna enroll three. And then she's gonna teach all of her people how to do it. And all these boxes are gonna get filled up so quickly. And the only other boxes you need to do, because I said you have to do steps of success two times, one, two, three. How many of you think you can enroll six distributors? Yes. Betty, yes. Sherry, yes. You guys can do this. Please know. Brandy, yes, you can do it. 
I am nothing special. I am just a regular person. Please trust me when I say, I know that you can do this. You can't doubt it anymore. I want you to look in your mirror. That's right, Joelle. I want you to look in your mirror and say, I can do this. And I need to do this. And I'm empowering myself to do this. Okay? Write down your strengths. Know that you can do it and focus. Blinders on, make it happen. You're diamond. You're diamond, aren't you? $10,000, you guys. That's an amazing amount of money. It's a life changing amount of money. And you can do it, it's so achievable. I went diamond in seven weeks. Okay, and Mackenzie already had signed up the, the universe by that time, because she was already, let's see, she would have been presidential. She was presidential by then. And 90% of what I thought were my friends, I had already sent to her. I was already like, you should sign up and do this. And they were like, are you going to? Well, no, I'm not going to, but you should do it, you know, because I'm supporting her. Half of her team were my friends. Half of her team, Krista Knight, who is a presidential diamond, she was really a good friend of mine. I knew her. She was a patient. She also knew Mackenzie because they, she was an esthetician. But so many people crucial in her team were people that I knew that I sent to her. So that whole saturated market thing, that doesn't fly for me. Not at all. Not at all. Because you've got way more friends besides the fact Who's signing these distributors? Your friends and their friends' friends. You need three twice. Twice. That's all you need. And you teach your team to do the same thing. Can you do it? Am I hearing your heads nod? Yes. Yes, you can do it. So um, product of the product. I told you I was going to go, but you have to be product of the product. So have you all seen my thigh um, before and afters? Because, oh my gosh, the first time I posted those, it was like, I thought I was going to go, like, throw up in the sink. It was, I was like, oh my gosh, people are going to see these. And it was like, ding, 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 ding. I was like, people want to know that you've done this, that you can see the results, and they believe you because they trust you. So you have to have either personal before and afters, personal testimonials, because you're using the products. If your ABV Outership is not set up, you should get off of this Zoom right now. Because <laughs> seriously, you have to have that. I just, I can't even imagine. I, I mean, I order way more than ABV um, product every month because I love it, believe it, have to have it. Um, I don't know, Betty maybe hasn't heard this story because she's on my team, but I've told my team this story before a hundred times, but I'm going to tell you guys the chips and salsa story. And it's, I just say it's like chips and salsa. If, if you went to a restaurant, say it's a new restaurant, and you go in and you think, oh, I'm going to have the chips and salsa, and you sit down and they bring them to you and they're like warm and they're salty and they're like so fresh, and you take them, you dip it in that salsa and you're like, oh my gosh, that's got so much flavor and I love it. You're going to be I need to tell my friends about this chips and salsa place. It's amazing. I'm not going to keep it a secret, right? You wouldn't walk out of there and go, well, I'm sure as heck I'm not going to tell anybody about this place. No. You want people to come flooding in there. You want it to be busy because you want to always come back there and get their chips and salsa, right? So I go next door and I'm going to get gas in my car. And I just, I mean, I still have salsa in my teeth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so freaking excited. The person next to me, I'm like, have you been to that new restaurant? No. I'm like, you got to go. The chips and salsa is freaking amazing. You got to talk to everybody about your chips and salsa, right? And then let's say they go. Your friend goes and they're like, yeah, I don't know. It was okay. And I think it was great. And I'd be like, go again. Try it one more time. Just like when you're offering to your friends about the wraps. And they're like, yeah, I don't know. I tried one of those. You did? Okay, well, let's try it again. Let me come wrap you. So let's say it's chips and salsa. I'm like, you did, let me go with you. I'm going to go with you to that place. Let's try that chips and salsa together. And then they're like, well, they weren't as warm and toasty like you said. And 
It's just chips and salsa, you guys. And if they try it again and they're just not sure, did you try the guacamole? Because the guacamole is to die for. Oh, no. That's all it is. There's three months of an auto shipment right there. Loyal customer. Okay? You just have to be there to guide them, encourage them, be excited about it, give them your opinion because they trust you. That's all it is. It's just chips and salsa, you guys. It's not brain surgery. It's sharing a passion for something that can change their life. And the world doesn't believe it. The world wants to be negative. The world wants to hate on things. They're confused. They don't get it. And I was that person too. I didn't get it either. But when I did, I spew it out. I let them know, okay? You guys, you can do this. I'm gonna make sure there's no other questions. Let me just ask. Trying to get your husband a diamond. Way to go, Brandy. That is a girl. All right, no questions. I guess you're also dang smart, I love it. Okay, I love you guys. You can do it. You can friend me on Facebook. I'm happy to encourage you and motivate you as much as I possibly can, but the best thing I can tell you to do is don't be distracted by what you don't think you can do, but focus on what you know you can. Okay? You good? All right. I want to see all of those names in diamond. Diamond, 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 diamond. I'm going to be cheering you on. All right. I'm going to stop the recording here. Stop.